Welcome back, or just welcome if you're new. This time, I decided to work on a few sketches based on one I did just messing around at some point, which is this sketch right here. The basic idea was for it to be a hovercraft or some kind of a transportation ship. Whether that's for cargo or passengers depends on the model. One thought of how they could work would be these orbs right here, or the plates in later sketches you'll see here. Maybe some kind of mineral or organic material that naturally floats slash levitates. Just very condensed in this case to allow what would probably be heavy vehicles to levitate. This world is going to be a mix of sci-fi and fantasy, but leaning more on the fantasy side. Like I've said in previous videos, I don't want to restrict myself with set rules this early on. I just want to draw what looks cool to me now, and then establish things later. Now that I think about it, they could be made of wood or other things lighter than metal. They don't have to be all that durable. I'm sure wood or something similar would suffice for the body of most of these, unless it needs to be safer for a specific purpose, like transporting VIPs or traveling on dangerous routes, etc. So a mix of technology, but not electricity based, and magic. Slightly more on the magic side without being magic, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I even know what I mean. Something like infused gems, or something similar. For all these sketches, I used the symmetrical guide ruler in Clip Studio Paint, which is a really convenient tool that just mirrors what I'm drawing on one side of the canvas onto the other. A huge time saver in this case. I decided this last one was the sketch I would detail a little bit more, or at least clean up and render further. Again, pretty low tech, just like the mechs from a few videos ago. I want stuff like this in the mechs to be present, but also not super prevalent, not owned by every other person. Definitely a hard balance to strike in world building. Maybe that's as simple as having these be quite expensive to produce, at least after first being developed. As far as size, this specific model would be fairly large, maybe four or five seats in this bridge up here at the front. That back tail would hold another one of those discs, but larger, which would almost have a magnetic quality to them allowing them to sort of hold themselves in place. Maybe I need a few more, or to make them larger. The disc in the back would tilt to help with some of the forward propulsion, alongside others, maybe with a few large ones underneath. So yeah, just a few ideas that I thought were interesting. I guess we'll see if and how I'll implement them into the world. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, I'm always open to suggestions, so let me know in the comments things you'd like to see or things you think would help me improve in making these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.